And uh, who do you play for? I, I play for the Royals, Remat Royals. Remat Royals. And if you don't mind me asking, Rob, how old are you? 69. 69 years old. You're really just a junior to the game. Yes, yeah, I've only played seriously for the last four years. And what, uh, what was the motivation for playing? Oh, well, I was at Paringa and I filled in as a fielder there for a couple of years. And uh, the team collapsed, and there was only three of us Jamie Bree, okay. Dan Chorick, and myself. And Dan was able to get some more players, and we just got into playing. Yeah. And what do, you, what do you like most about cricket? Oh, I just I enjoy it, the competition, the going out there, 11 against 1. <laughs> and uh, what, do you, what do you classify yourself as? Are you an all rounder? No, um, a blocker. That's all I do. <laughs> what's, what's your highest score in your four years in the game? 10. 10. <laughs> and uh, that must have been a mem memorable knockdown? Yes, it was. Took 26 overs to get them. <laughs> Do you hit any boundaries in that lot? No, I've only ever hit one boundary. <laughs> and um, tell us again, uh, it's been a while since you played. The last time, basically, I played. I played in one fun match in 1980, but before that, I spent about six months when I was 14 with Abbotsford in Victoria. <laughs> and in a senior side, and, and they had to bowl and you know, modify can you the game. Them down? Because I was only a little kid. So I can see. So uh, you were 14, and apart from that other one game in a fun match, yep. you won't. Uh, I've never had a career what, back what, in my hand. What was that? Another. Uh, that was Paringa Pub. I was working at the Paringa yeah, Pub. Yeah, yeah, but but so from 14 through to what 65? Is that right? Well, John, I, that's uh, it. Uh, from well, 14 John, through to 1980, I did nothing. I had a bat in my hand yeah. in 1980, and then in uh, 2008, I think it was, we decided that we get serious about cricket. <laughs> so would you say it's uh, nice. never too late? Never too late. No, um, I, I have a coach. A bloke who coached me, who was a top batsman, scored over a thousand runs one season here, Tony Markham, and he and I have hit in the nets at least once a week if we can. So. <laughs> what, what, what's cricket like for you, Rob? Well, it's a bit like Zen to me. Um, zen is, those who uh, know sort of can't, can't express it, and those who don't know talk about it all the time, so I find it really difficult to express my feelings about cricket, but I'm very passionate about it. I mean, when I'm out there, I give it all I've got. And um, I really enjoy myself. You, you're partial to a walk, is that right? Yeah, I did, did a little bit of walking. My wife's been ill, unfortunately, the last couple of years. And, and my daughter. So, uh, what, what did you do to uh, address that situation? We walked from Mildura to here in 27 hours, which is about 140 k. And uh, then I tried to walk from Adelaide to here, but the weather beat me. I got 108. 80k in 33 hours, but it was over 36 degrees, so we were trying to walk it in, um, in um, about 55 hours, and uh, just had to pull out of that. So we went back and gave another shot, and we walked back down to Adelaide and back in six hours. So, is that what you, is that we were successful on that one, and it was for Make-A-Wish, and Dallas Alif organised it all, and on that he raised uh, over $10,000 for Make-A-Wish. Is that, is that what we attribute your uh, supreme looking calves to? <laughs> oh, you're embarrassed. I think I'm just a daggy old man. <laughs> let's, check out, let's check out these calves. Look at those beauties.